Hey, this is Mick. I'm back, and today I'm going to show you how to make a drop down list from a macro. So, drop down lists. Now, these are great if you want to limit a user's uh, input into a predetermined uh, number of choices. So, how do you make a drop down list uh, regularly? So, number one, uh, let's click on cell A1. We'll go to uh, data, then data validation. And then under allow, under settings here, we change to list. Uh, here you could just type in the entries. This is a quick way to do it. Hit OK. And so now you can see the arrow appears here. And now we have a drop down list. Um, so you can you can drag these down. And now you have a drop down list in all these cells. Uh, but what happens if you want to add a value to these? You only select the first one. It has a value to that one, but not to these other lists. So um, a better way, which I like to uh, make lists, is using uh, the name manager and, and to define a name. So I would put the list value somewhere like here. So then uh, select these values, go to the formulas, name manager, then say new, and say, let's give it a name, my list. Let's see, has the range selected OK. And now if we go to cell B1 here, go to data validation, let's make a new list. But instead of typing the values here, we're just going to use that named range, my list. And now we have the drop down values from here. So that way, if you change this one, it can change in all your lists. So I like to, that's the best way that I like to use the uh, making lists. But now, let's say you want to uh, create a list from a macro, how would you do that? So we go to view macros, uh, view macros, let's create a new macro called list creator. So let's say in cell C1, we want to make a list from a macro. So I'm just going to type my range C1 and then validation and add so that'll add it and then we have to put a couple options in here so we'll do type create so I'll validate this alert style Cell that. And now formula one will be the values of your list. So again, like the first way I showed you, you could just type the values out here. Okay, so here's our code. Range C1 validation that add. Okay, maybe so we run this. We're here, so then C1, should be a drop down of those values that we just made. Nice. But again, what if we don't want to add the values here? Because then if you want to change the values, someone has to go into the macro and change those. Not everybody may know how to use macros or the Visual Basic Editor. So again, it's better to have your list visible in the sheet. So if someone else wants to, they can change it. Um, so in the code then, instead of using the formula here, we're going to just refer to the named range, which if you remember was my list. So let's change this to D1. Run it. So now in D1, here's the list based on this range. So again, we change that. It changes in the list over here. 
Now you'll notice when the list comes in, it has it's come up with blank. So if you want to put the default value in there, so this is cell D1, you can make the list, and then just after that, put a value in there from the list. So range D1 dot value equals. seeing the error because we already have the list there. And here let's just try changing this to E1. So I'm going to make a new list in E1 with the default value. Ha ha. Just play that. And now there's E1. Ha ha is already selected. So there you have it. That's all there is to it. That's how you make drop down lists using a VBA macro in Excel. If you have any of your questions or comments, feel free to comment below or email me and let me know. I uh, hope that was helpful. Uh, please subscribe and let me know what you want me to show you next.